The India bloc leaders continue to charge at Prime Minister Modi, even though it is in the third term, but because of the sort of uh, votes that had come in and the alliance. The NDA government that this time was formed with the number of seats. MK Stalin this time mocking Prime Minister Modi to bowing to the constitution. Remember when Prime Minister Modi had won and come to the parliament to meet the elected MPs? He bowed to the constitution, that image on his screen. MK Stalin is now saying that has he been forced to do it now because of the results of the third term? And MK Stalin has also added that this is not Modi's victory because of the seats that he's got, which are way reduced than previously. This is 41st victory of India Alliance. Listen in. India Arasalam Pusatatta Matin Anicha Vengala Purashialer Ambedkar Kudata Sataputakati Munadi Talehunj Akitrikanuma. Idan, Talever Kalinger, Stradler Sulu Nana, India would have put any order Napa Tiora of the Vetri. In many ways, it looks like the opposition also has got a new lease of life when it comes to targeting the Modi government. Shilpa Nair is joining me this morning. Shilpa, good morning. Clearly, we see MK Stalin, and this is not the first time, am I correct, that he's charging at Modi government ever since the results were out. Uh, right today. In fact, uh, uh, yesterday the BMP, of course, had a mega celebratory Correct. event in Coimbatore. Uh, that because uh, BMK led alliance has swept the polls here in Tamil Nadu. All 40 or 40 seats in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry were won by the BMK led alliance. And that's the reason why the party, of course, decided to celebrate this big victory. And uh, while speaking, uh, in that particular rally, Chief Minister and Chief Stalin uh, hit out at the BJP government, uh, hit out at the Prime Minister, uh, of course going on to say that, uh, you know, these are the people who said that they would want to change the constitution, but after the results, uh, they were forced to bow down to the constitution written by Dr. Uh, B.R. Ambedkar, and that, he says, is the 41st victory of uh, the India Alliance. And uh, in, throughout his entire speech, the, uh, the BMK chief uh, took several drives at the BJP saying that, uh, you know, the BJP indulged in the business campaigns. They unleashed uh, central agencies like the IT, CBI, ED, etc. against the opposition parties. Uh, they jailed city chief ministers. Mm. They did all that they could, but still ended up only with 240 seats. And that, he says, uh, shows the victory of the people. It shows the victory of democracy and even though the BJP has won 240 seats, uh, uh, DNK Chief MK Stalin says this is not Modi's victory, but this Correct. is Modi's failure. That is what he, of course, went on mm. to say. So clearly, uh, the DNK Chief using that opportunity to say that uh, the Tamil Nadu was successful in stopping the BJP's juggernaut, and not just in Tamil Nadu, but across the country. Mm. He says the India Alliance was able to put up a good fight, which restricted the BJP to a number 240 forcing them to form a minority government at the centre. All right, thank you very much. Shilpa Nair tracking what uh, the leaders, specifically the India bloc, have to say. They're not stopping their charges and remarks, scathing, to say the least, at Prime Minister Modi. So here's what has basically happened. MK Stalin is not the first one. Political landscape is still heating up after the election results and even the oath ceremony. Congress President Malikarjun Khadge labelled NDA government, uh, which is in the third term, as a mistake, predicting that the new government can fall any time. So that is where DMK Chief MK Stalin, who's also Tamil Nadu Chief Minister, jumped in and went on to say that these 240 seats, approximately, uh, this is only of BJP, is actually Modi's failure and that he's Prime Minister only because of Nitish Kumar and Chandra Babu Naidu, which is the NDA alliance. BJP, and because so many leaders were saying, immediately hit back, saying Modi government will finish its five-year tenure. The Saffron clan has further gone on to say that it will be the India bloc that will fall apart very soon. वो अपना इंडिया लाइन संभालने बड़ी बात है आम आदमी पार्टी ऑलरेडी उनसे बाहर हो गई है उद्धव ठाकरे ने ऑलरेडी कहा कि हम अगला चुनाव अकेले लड़ेंगे तो वो अपनी अपना लाइन संभाल नहीं पा रहे हमारी तरफ इशारा करें पांच साल ये सरकार चलेगी और जनता की भरपूर सेवा करेगी मैं खुशनसीब भी है भाजपा की कि ऐसे विपक्ष की पार्टियां आए हैं जो निन्यानवे सीटों पे हारने के बाद भी अपनी सरकार बनने का मॉरल विक्ट्री का दावा कर रहे हैं और जनता का जनादेश है सरकार एनडीए की बनी हुई है प्री पोल अलायंस था एनडीए का और पूरी तरह से मजबूती से जनता के आशीर्वाद से ही अलायंस आगे बढ़ेगा अपने कार्यकाल को पूरा करेगा मेरी एक ही नसीहत है विपक्षी नेताओं से कि अपने गिरे बांध में झांके असलियत को स्वीकार करें कि दस साल के बाद भी आज कांग्रेस पार्टी दो में पचास से सिर्फ पचास सीटें बढ़ा पाई है जिन टुकड़े टुकड़ों की बात करते थे खुद अब टुकड़े टुकड़े करके भारत सरकार बना रहे हैं और खुद मोदी साहब डेढ़ लाख वोटों से जीते हैं ये भी 
شرم کی بات ہے کہ چار پانچ لاکھ سے جیتتے تھے ڈیڑھ لاکھ سے جیتے اس کا مطلب لوگ اب آپ کے خلاف ہو گئے اسی وجہ سے آپ کم ووٹوں سے جیتے بھارت سرکار جس طریقے کے کام ابھی تک کرتی رہی ہے دس سالوں کے اندر اسی کا یہ نتیجہ ہے آپ دھرم کی بنیاد پر دھرم کو ایکسپلائٹ کر کے ہمیشہ سرکار نہیں بنا سکتے میں ان کے بارے میں زیادہ کچھ نہیں کہنا چاہتا ہوں وہ ورد ہو گئے ہیں ویسے بھی سارے کانگریسیوں کا اور وپکشیوں کا سنتولن چار تاریخ کے بعد تھوڑا گڑبڑا گیا ہے ہمیں دیوشی میں اوساد اسپیشلسٹ بڑھانے پڑیں گے یا کچھ بیڈوں کی سنکھیا بھی بڑھانی پڑے گی